to me, Jay is an example every day of what it means to be a good man. He's a, he's a good husband, he's a good father, he's an example to his employees, he cares for them as an extended family. And in a day we talk about heroes and talk about people with great character, Jay is a good man in every sense of the word. And I just can't say enough good about the kind of person he is. He, he encourages me and he challenges me to be a better person because of the kind of person that he is. I would consider him a friend and he's somebody that he might be a, a little bit shorter than I am, but he's somebody that I look up to each and every day. Jay's extremely involved in the community. He's a deacon at his church. He's a Sunday school teacher, a WANA leader. He's heavily, heavily involved. He's also involved in the community. One of those was the Leprechaun Road Race. It's part of our uh, St. Patrick's Festival here that goes on the whole month of March. And we just said, Jay, you know, this would be perfect for you. You want to be involved in the community? So he's been in charge of the Leprechaun Road Race for uh, at least five years now. We've worked together for 15 years. He's an excellent guy to work with. He keeps the work atmosphere pretty much like a family situation. You know, he's, he's always there to lend an a ear, a helping hand, and it goes way past the work environment. You know, if I need something in my personal life, he's there to give me advice or to help out, and, and I couldn't ask for, for more than that. When you work with a person like that, it makes coming to work easy. Um, it makes you appreciate the little things, and, and, and I've really been, consider myself fortunate to, to have worked with him over these 15 years. I think he's a great guy, very loving, kind, generous person. And I think he's got a lot to give to, to the community for many, many years. My husband chose to decrease his work hours to the minimum required work hours. And then fly with me every two weeks to Maryland um, to stay with me at my bedside as I receive chemo 24 hours a day for six straight days. And then we fly back home be off of chemo for a week and then turn right back around and go and he continued a full-time job. There are not enough words to describe him, but I will say he is a very thoughtful person. He's always thinking about someone else. It's always about someone else's needs. It's always about someone else's desires. Uh, one of his first things that he did when he got the position was ask for pay raises for every one of his employees that they could just meet this, the standard across the state. He said they're not up to par. That was his first request. It's never about him. It's always about someone else. And I think that's why he's so successful at what he does. God's blessed us. This story is less about me than it is the people I'm blessed to have in my life. I would not have a story without my wife, Kathy and her parents. They have been an amazing help to us through the many surgeries. And my parents as well have been a fabulous help. Always willing to come whenever it's completely inconvenient, but always willing to lend a helping hand. The leadership that we have here at the hospital and the team that I get to work with every day, we would not be able to pull off any of the events that we do without the entire team together and our church and the members of this community. Every time we are in a situation, our church overwhelmingly supports us. Again, this is not about uh, one individual. It's about the team. It's about the family. And if I were to write a story about my life with me as the main character, that life would be a tragedy. Thank you.